Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is time to do uh, beauty trash empties from March and April. And some things I am also decluttering. Sometimes I like to throw those into these videos cause I once in a while get rid of like one or two things, maybe a little bit more and it's not enough to make a full video. Let's just get into it. <laughs> if you know, you know. I went through another one of these baby shampoo, baby wash soaps uh, for my face. This is what I use to cleanse my makeup at the end of the night. And it seems like I go through one of these every three to four months. I love using this, we'll continue to. This is the CVS brand, by the way. I switched over to the Aldi brand, which is even cheaper and works just as well. I think Aldi's is even cheaper than CVS. I don't think I paid more than $2, maybe like a buck and change for the Aldi bottle, which is the same exact size and it works just as good. So I'm gonna keep using that. I'm just not going back to Johnson & Johnson because Johnson & Johnson to me is a little bit shady and I don't feel as comfortable using their stuff. And I know there's more talk these days about like toxins and chemicals basically dying every day, I think, from everything we're using. I think that's the consensus now, I don't know. And I feel a lot of different ways about that. Like, I, I'll save that for another video, but I just, yes. Yeah. But anyway, if I can pick and choose where I want my chemicals to be, Johnson & Johnson is just like, one brand that I'm probably gonna phase I out. I did use this up in a project pan recently. This is the uh, Super Comb Prep and Protect Spray. So this was really, really good. I actually really enjoyed this. This was just for like, you know, detangling, prepping. It does a lot of different things and really enjoyed it. I miss using a spray in my hair and I might look into getting that one again or something similar because I don't know how easy it is to find this particular brand. I know they do still sell it. I think Walmart might sell it. I, I don't know, but uh, I do like using a spray conditioner in my hair or something similar because I think it's good for my hair. It does make my hair less frizzy and more like workable. I might even consider using regular conditioner in my hair um, after the shower, like as a mask or something. I don't know, but I like that one. I did like that one. I used up the Inky List Peptide Moisturizer. I really did like this a lot, actually. I got this as a dupe a cheaper dupe for the Drunk Elephant moisturizer uh, that's very similar. I forget what that one is called. It's like, I think a peptide moisturizer as well. It has like a green lid uh, or like teal green lid, something like that. I tried a sample of the Drunk Elephant and enjoyed it. it. Has a really nice texture. It's not sticky, right? And it absorbs really nicely. And I felt like this felt sort of the same. I, I mean, I was pretty satisfied with this. And I like that it comes with this little like pump I was like surprised how well this like technology worked to get every last drop out. Whoever created this, good job. And it's hygienic too. So you can just like not have to dip your finger into a whole vat of product there. So I did like this. I think this was like 15 bucks compared to Drunk Elephant, which is like astronomically more expensive. Would I get it again? Uh, sure, I would, I would. Um, I don't have it on like automatic, like I'm gonna run out and get it now kind of a thing. I'm finishing up some facial oil right now. Uh, don't really know. I don't really have any plans for my next nighttime moisturizer that isn't an oil, cause I like to have both. Don't know, I honestly don't know, but we shall see when I actually pick something up, I guess. Other face moisturizer that I finished up was the Body Shop's Tea Tree Anti-Imperfection Night Mask. And this was definitely in my unofficial project pan video that I made about a year ago of things I wanted to pan and get out of my collection. <laughs> I don't know if I would repurchase this. I wanted to get it out of my collection because I wasn't sure if I liked the texture of it. It's a little bit sticky. You know, it was a handy product to use when my skin was acting up. It was just easy to kind of slop it on and feel like you were doing something for your skin, you know? I just don't like having huge containers if I can help it. Like between these two, like this container is so big and clunky. To me it is, I don't know, like, I. Like, I don't like having too many big jars in my stash, but that might just be how it is if you have different products and they're not all gonna be like slim and perfect and all that. But I also have tea tree oil itself, like the actual concentrate. I don't know if concentrate's the right word, but you know, the actual tea tree oil. And I can like throw that into a nighttime moisturizer. And it probably is the same without taking up this much space. It's a very conditional product. Like I don't use this every single night because it depends on what my skin is up to. I don't think I need to repurchase this just yet. I'm just gonna finish the tea tree oil I have left. There's not a whole lot of that left. And again, I don't have, definitive plans, I might just continue to buy tea tree oil and use that in place of getting an entire container. So I think that's the, that's where I'm leaning. So I have less products to deal with overall. 
I think it helps. Oh, I wouldn't be opposed to getting this again in the future, but I, again, like I said, I'm not trying to have like a million jars of stuff because it just like annoys me having like too many products to pick. I like to keep things kind of simple with my skincare. I have the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion with SPF 30. This formula is different than the type I had been getting. I always get CeraVe for SPF. I've been sticking to that brand for a while now. Um, and I like CeraVe a lot. So this one is a little bit thicker. This feels a lot like sunblock. Uh, it doesn't clog my pores. I never had any issues with that. And like right now I have the ultra light version and that one's a little bit more expensive. So if you're looking to save a little bit of money, this is just fine if you don't mind a thicker formula. But overall, I do like a lighter formula. So I'll probably opt for the other one more so than this one, but both are pretty good. I might switch over to like Korean brands again or even European brands because, you know, for going back to the conversation of like chemicals and like additives and stuff. I think Korean and European brands might be a little bit more regulated with that. It's hard because I, I understand there's chemicals and way more other products that I'm using. Skincare might be an easier place for me to start when it comes to, you know, less toxic stuff. I, I know I have way too much makeup to like turn that all over at the same time. And like, I don't know if I could do that. We'll see how it pans out. I finished the Love Beauty and Planet Shampoo. This is the Muro Muro Butter and Rose Blooming Color Sulfate Free Shampoo. And I still have the conditioner left because I always blow through the shampoos way quicker than any conditioner. So I usually just keep it and use it with whatever shampoo I'm using next. This was pretty decent. Um, I'm really into sulfate free shampoos because I do dye my hair and I try to not use anything super harsh on my hair for that reason. And this smells really good. And I think it smells like something from my childhood. And I think it is the Tinkerbell perfume from like the 80s and 90s. I think that's what it was, but it is a pleasant smell. I really like it. I would get this again, I think. I don't know, but I do like to kind of switch things around. So probably not this exact one, but like it was decent. It was good enough and it did the job and it was certainly cost effective. So um, all good reasons to purchase it again, but you know me, if I, happen to finish things up and buy it regularly i'm more than likely going to try the brands some makeup products i finished up a sample of this giorgio armani neo nude skin natural glow foundation this was definitely more of a skin tint to me i think um i'm not gonna buy this like i'm, I'm just not like <laughs> i received this as a sample obviously and i'm just like here to try it and like discard it knowing in my head i'm never gonna pay for a giorgio armani whatever it was nice but not exceptional i feel like this is probably no different than any other skin tint i've used honestly they all kind of look alike on my skin the shade i guess 25 i think that's what that number is and 55 i kind of had to mix them together to get my shade but i didn't think they were special project pan item the clarence instant light lip perfector in case you missed that very excited i had this for a long time lovely product won't be purchasing it again though because i have way too many lip glosses and i just like don't care to buy another lip gloss at this point but it is nice maybe in the future i'll try a different shade i think i'm a little bit burnt out on this one even though it was a nice like nude pink color it was a really nice formula too like it wasn't super sticky i'm not thinking about purchasing any makeup right now like let me just be real with you like i just don't i'm not motivated by that at the moment so i'm just kind of using stuff up and like Whatever I end up liking down the line, I'll end up picking up. Right now, it's not on my radar, but it was nice. Another makeup empty was the Jake Hat Beauty Stay Assurance Water Sealed Zero Smudge Concealer. And this was in the shade Buff. And I bought this around Black Friday last year. This concealer was okay. I wouldn't buy it again though. It didn't like, I, I don't remember it being like super, super creamy, but I don't think it provided like enough coverage for me. I know it's like a more natural look when it's more moisturizing. So I get the appeal of that for like a lot of people who have like dry, crepey skin under eye or yeah, for like a natural finish and you don't need like a ton of coverage. So like, I, I get it. I get the appeal of that. I'm kind of looking for something that's a little bit more canceling. You know what I mean? Like that conceals a little bit more. I really like Tarte Shape Tape, I think. I think that is kind of more what I like in a concealer, like that kind of formula. 
I don't know, it's a preference thing. It wasn't bad. It was relatively inexpensive, I guess, um, but just not one that I would repurchase for that reason. It was something. It was, it, you know, it did brighten it up, but it wasn't enough for me, you know what I mean? So, won't be getting that again. Watch my last Project Pan video. I emptied out the Alme Intense Raisin Quartz Eyeliner. Had this for a really long time. I started this product in 2021, the very beginning, and I've had it for even longer than that. So, it's been in my collection for years and I finally finished it up. I will not be buying this again. But I do like the well and I did like the color which was a you know purple color. It was a little bit lighter than this though. It wasn't as dark as that. I've definitely said it before in this channel that Alme isn't exactly the most exciting brand and I'm at that point now where I rarely buy makeup so when I do it's going to be something probably a lot more exciting than Alme. Um, I love Alme's mascara though. The one of the purple tube is my favorite, like one of my favorite drugstore mascaras. Um, so I could see myself picking that up again. I've spent way too much time with that eyeliner that I need to like switch it up. So this next product is actually collagen. So this is my third or fourth container of collagen that I've been using. And I've been using this since January. So not this exact brand, I've switched around to different brands. But yeah, I've been using collagen regularly since January and I never thought to bring these into my empties. But since collagen is more of like a trend thing as of late. I've been seeing more of this like being talked about. Um, I figured I'd bring this in and talk about it. So what got me into this in the first place was back in the fall I had um, started noticing a pain in my elbow and I think it's called tennis elbow. I don't play tennis. I don't play like sports really at all but I was getting this pain where every time I would outstretch my arm um, it just like it hurt like and it wasn't going away. I was having this pain for like months. I was doing my Google searches and everything and it sounded like tennis elbow. I'm, I'm like self-diagnosing myself. But in general though, like even my foot, like last summer it was bothering me and collagen is supposed to be really good for your joints. So I was like, let's give it a go. And I do feel like my elbow is getting a lot better. I don't have like that pain anymore when I stretch it out. Now that could just be from time, you know, it does take a couple months for that like pain or inflammation to go away. Um, as long as you're not like, um, overworking your elbows and stuff like that, which I was very mindful about that. But I would like to think that this helped in a way. I know most people typically don't buy collagen for that reason. They usually buy it for like the hair, skin, nails. And to be honest, like I don't have an issue with my nails. Um, I, I quite like my nails actually. Um, I don't have a problem with that. And like, you know, they're pretty strong and they grow kind of quickly. So I don't have a problem with my nails. My skin typically doesn't give me any issues either. I mean, I am, you know, getting a little bit older now. Like I, I can see that my skin isn't exactly what it looked like when I was 25, but I don't feel like it's in bad shape. I'm also for like anything that will help my skin out too. So definitely an added bonus. And I guess for my hair, it helps. I don't really notice anything like super different. I think sometimes it does look shinier, but I don't know if that's like in my head, but I do feel like my hair does look healthier. I have tried um, like different brands since January. So I haven't like found a favorite. This one does not taste like anything. This is unflavored. I usually put this in my coffee and I've, I've enjoyed it. It is expensive though. Um, I think like containers like this can be anywhere from like 20 to $25 depending on the brand. So that can kind of add up like every single month. And I don't even use the full two scoops every day. I only use like one scoop in my coffee because if I use two scoops, this would be done in like three weeks and I'm not about that life. Like, um, but yeah, one of these will usually last me a month or a little bit longer than a month. So it's not terrible. Um, but yeah, I just feel like something like this is in my mind more beneficial for my body at, at this age for me. Um, you could probably benefit from it at any age, even if you're like younger than me, like if you're in your twenties or something, I don't know. Kind of have to do what you believe is best for yourself. And some people might think this is like a bunch of BS and maybe it is, I don't know. <laughs> maybe it's all like a placebo thing, but my elbow does feel a lot better. I haven't had too many issues with my joints or anything, which is great. And I cannot complain about my like hair, skin or nails right now. Not that I had a huge issue with those, but like, yeah. so. So if I feel comfortable doing so, I will probably continue to get more of this. Whatever's on sale or something, stick with that. So yeah. <laughs> Finished up a Scentsy, uh, one of these Scentsy wax melt packages. I've kind of slowly been using these up and like getting them out of my stash. This one smells really good. Um, I don't know what Piedmont is supposed to smell like. It's very fruity though. Maybe like a type of wine or something. I don't know. It has like a fruity 
type of smell to it. And I really, really like this. Um, it's one of the older Scentsy wax melt things that I've had. I probably have this for like five years maybe now at this point. So I'm glad it's all finished now. I think I might have like two or three packages left that are like more for like the winter season. So I'm gonna finish those up and I don't know what I'm gonna do when I'm done all of these. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase from Scentsy again or, you know, try something that's a little bit cheaper or like more like easily accessible that you don't have to go through a person for because like Scentsy is one of those like MLMs, multi-level marketing companies. And I don't really know if I feel like dealing with that. So I might just go for a different brand. I don't know. I don't know. Th these are really good though. They do smell really good. I gotta say like all the Scentsy products, like I feel the same with like the Bath, Bath Body Works. Like I love how so many things smell from there. I just like don't really use fragrance around my home as much anymore. So we shall see. So the last three products are things I'm decluttering out of my collection. Oh, this first product is so old. This is a Laura Geller baked body frosting that I got over a decade ago. So clearly this has to go. But I don't know why I never mentioned this in like any inventory I've had or any ever on this channel. I don't know why, but it actually was a really good product. And I used to put this on my legs during wedding season it actually is really nice and it does look very very glowy and give you kind of like this incandescent candlelight glow i think i got this from C um, qbc they got me that when i was young man they got me yeah it is really good but it's just so old and i feel like it's a little too dark <laughs> like on my legs it probably looked fine but i think it's a little too dark for my skin tone and honestly i probably could still use this because i know it's really old i know but on my legs it probably would look kind of nice uh it did look nice but like it has like that really like unnatural like it looks natural like it's a really beautiful glow but i think the shade is way too dark so i think it was passable because it was like down here i would use it i wouldn't really use it like did i use it on my arms i don't remember now I don't know. I, I would hope that when I did use it, I was a little bit more tan than I am now because that's that's kind of not my shade, but it is pretty. It is a really, really nice product. I don't know if she still sells it, but if you're looking for something like to illuminate or give your skin a glow, I mean, that's definitely a good one to try, but just be wary of the shade that you pick. <laughs> These two, I definitely had a declutter video, but then I pulled them back in. These are the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils. Even though I decluttered it in the video, I was still having second thoughts. That does happen here and there where I'm just like not as sure as I thought I was. And I'm like, okay, we'll test drive them. I didn't even get a chance to test drive these that much. I kind of put them to the side as like a chopping block kind of thing. I did not want to reach for them. So I'm just like calling it quits and actually getting rid of them for real. Um, this one is the one in white. And I heard these are becoming trendy again. Is that true? I, I That's what I heard. I already got rid of the black bean one. So this is the next one to go. And this one I had the intention of using this as a base for eyeshadows because it'll make stuff pop especially if it's like a weaker performing eyeshadow like this will definitely make it pop more kind of a thing um it doesn't really work as an eye base though like if you're trying to prevent creasing like that's not this is not it for that like i think that's what i was trying to use it for at one point and like yeah no it is a nice eyeshadow overall creamy and it blends well and all of that i just like don't have a purpose for this anymore like i'm not gonna wear this by itself i'm not gonna wear it under anything even though that was like my intention and like kind of what i hoped i would do with it i never did that because i don't really wear like 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 bright colors anyway so this serves no purpose, so I'm gonna get rid of it. And it kind of smells weird too, so even more reason to get rid of it. And the other color was Lime, and Lime looks a lot like the um, eyeshadow my Project Pan right now, which is Golden Olive by MAC, it's the pigment. And I already know this shadow, it like looks really beautiful and it performs like really, really well. So it is a quality eyeshadow. So if you're in the market for like, these pencils like i say go for it they're really good i just know i'm never gonna reach for this like i know i'm not i'm having a hard time using the mac one right now so there's no way in heck i'm gonna be reaching for this guy unfortunately which is such a shame but you have to be real like i can't even make myself use the one that's in the project like as much as i would like to i probably reach for that like once a month or twice a month and even that is a struggle so how do i expect to use a full crayon <laughs> that color i i'm not it's not happening. So it is for real. I'm getting rid of these for sure. I'm not going to be pulling them back in or having second thoughts. It is their time. So 
that's it. Thank you so much for sticking with me to the end. Like usual, I hope you guys consider giving this video a like and consider subscribing. I am definitely into, you know, talking about the makeup I currently own and projects and stuff like this, empties and all. So would appreciate your support. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.